I believe that luxury is a privilege. A privilege to understand the beauty of the world and at least to own some relevant pieces of it. Luxury belongs to the human being. What we do in our job, it's product but it's always art. It's product but it's always science. It's product but it's passion. With Polymoda we made a program which is quite unique, which is not existing in the other business school about luxury. We try to give them really an experience of what is luxury. So they may have the opportunity to see the passion of the people working in that business and with heart. They have the opportunity to see how craftsmanship is important, how innovation is important. We wanted to let them know what is really the heart and the spark of luxury goods behind the scene. Why Polymoda? I love Italy and Italy is very much the heart of luxury and of business and of fashion. It's definitely been an exposure to several different um, methodologies and several different approaches to fashion and evaluating fashion. Having teachers who are still working in the field that they're teaching about is really important and really helps because they're up to date on everything. Um, so you can have real world conversations about what's happening day to day in the fashion industry. We've definitely did that a lot in the classroom. I came to Polymoda to go to the one of the best universities in the world. From Richemont we learned so much. Always the feedback was, you know, so much about the industry. You really have like a knowledge about what's going on in the luxury business and this is because of this course. Probably the best experience was our Paris field trip. I mean it was great because it was a lot of hands-on work. We were able to actually work with jewelry and create stuff. And that was incredible simply to see how much the artisans love their work. Luxury is about passion, and I could really feel that there was a lot of passion in how the students work on the, on the project about Serapian and this uh, edition with Polymoda. They had the opportunity to visit us uh, in Milan. Uh, they have worked very, very hard, and they came back to us with some concrete ideas that we could put in place tomorrow. They shown to have understood the code of luxury and they have the feeling and I think that they are ready to work in our environment. No matter what the economy is doing, there's always a need for luxury, there's always a market for it, there's always someone who's seeking a luxury experience. So it's something that in my mind is secure, it's always going to be around. And it's really the leader in terms of innovation and moving forward is luxury. 